hearing the report last week on patterns and practices of the Chicago Police Department was a sobering reminder of the challenges we face in our city. <coughs> Frankly, there was little there that surprised me. Just because it's not surprising does not mean that it's not vital to our future as a community. I'm grateful to Attorney General Lynch and to his staff for their hard work over the last 13 months. And I'm pleased that the mayor has said that he will push ahead with the long needed changes the report identifies. Making these changes will not be easy. It will require tearing down a culture that within the department that has existed for decades, even generations. Let me say what I said many times as alderman. I worked with my district police officers regularly in 2 and 21. What I found was that 95% of our officers are good and decent people who work very hard every day at a very difficult job. But it's been obvious to me since I moved to Chicago in the 1960s that there is a pervasive racism that afflicts the department institutionally and too many of its officers individually. The report confirms this. And also that there has been a reluctance and an unwillingness to address what has been obvious to many of us for years. This report is a crucial milestone in the public airing of long suppressed truths. Now that we confront the grim reality, what exactly is to be done? There are at least three takeaways from the report that must be addressed immediately. Training. Our officers are not trained properly. That's clear from the report. Examples include a training tape that's 35 years old. Young officers get out of the academy and are placed in the most challenging districts. There's no policy on foot pursuits. We have to do better. It makes little difference who the superintendent is if the rank and file <coughs> commanding officers are understaffed and their supervisors lack managerial skills. The LaCroix McDonald case is just one example of the failings of the police department to police itself. How could it be that so many of the reports of officers on the scene mirrored exactly that of Officer Van Dyke? When you look at the video, it clearly reveals that the narrative is a lie. Then we add IPRA to the mix and it's been a toxic combination. I said last week this report gives us an opportunity to hit the reset button on police community re relations. I hope that the moment will be seized. Only time will tell, however.